100 students in Shelby County and surrounding areas are getting the opportunity to learn all things aerospace. The phrase of the day is, the sky is the limit. 17-year-old Deidre Newcomb's dream of becoming a Navy pilot began to soar after a chance to encounter different activities with pilots of color. We um, made some clay balls and we the lights, they turned on and we had to put a battery in and try fixing it with the positive and negative size so the lights could turn on. Newcomb and about 100 others ages 14 to 18 spent their Thursday at the Renaissance Convention Center with the Organization of Black Aerospace Professionals, OBAP, and FedEx. The nonprofit aims to encourage and advance minorities in all aviation and aerospace careers. Look at what's going on in the communities today. And what we have is a lot of children who don't, who don't have a vision. They don't know that they can have beyond where they are. So it's our job, one at FedEx and OBAP, to show them what's possible. MDL Captain Anthony Glenn used to be one of the kids you see today. He describes how this program helped him and hopefully the next generation. When you start to talk to them about how they, you can take away the, the financial aspect and that there are multitudes of avenues to get to the dream of becoming a pilot or an aerospace professional, they start to really believe that they can do it. According to OBAP, only 4% of pilots are black. With this, it's, you know, with the short percentage of African-American uh, people in this field, it's just very important to be here. So while aerospace may not be the best career field for me, oh, 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 Newcomb and Zach Neal are soaring to new heights and proving the sky is their only limit. I had practiced a landing with um, when I was flying and it was just really fun and I like flying. Reporting for your news leader, I'm Jessica Knotts, WREG News Channel 3.